Yo guys, what is going on? It is Ryuga here with another guide for you guys, and this time we're going to be talking about the reworked Freddy. Um, I am going to be talking about a giveaway I'm doing, so if you want to skip that, I'll put a timestamp in the description where I actually start talking about his power. Um, so if you want to skip it, feel free. Um, but I just wanted to say I appreciate all the support everybody has shown recently for a small channel like me. You know, I really appreciate the community and everything you guys have done. So I'm going to put a, uh, a Gleam link down below. It's going to be a $50 US um, just Steam gift card. And anybody can enter. You, you know, you'll get entries for like following me on Twitch or visiting my YouTube, stuff like that. Uh, it's just going to be my way of showing my appreciation. So there'll be one lucky winner at the end of next month, whatever, August. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it's $50, you know, US. So if you ever want to get a game or if you, you know, want to buy all the DLC with a gift card if you happen to win, you know, if that's what it's there for. Um, and yeah, I just appreciate you guys and I want you guys to know that. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into the video. So, new rework. It's pretty nice. Um, I am going to be doing one game with his dream snares and one game with his dream palettes. That way I can try to explain and show how they work best. But let us get into his new power. So there's no longer waiting for them to fall asleep before you can hit them. So, how this works is when you spawn into the match, um, Freddy passively puts survivors to sleep over 60 seconds and then after that they enter the dream world. Um, if you are awake, you hear a terror radius at 32 meters, I believe. Um, and then at uh, 16 to 32 meters, you see Freddy inter intermittently if you are awake. And then when he enters the 16 meters, that's when you start seeing him. Um, past 32 meters, he is invisible. Um, and then when you fall asleep, or the survivor falls asleep, I should say, um, his terror radius becomes a 2D kind of uh, lullaby similar to Huntress so he no longer has a tear radius and then you also are able to interact with all of his different powers like his dream snares and stuff like that but let's get into those so his default dream snare um, how that works is when you hold your power button you can place a dream snare on the ground which will take about a second to arm if a survivor runs into it they are hindered kind of uh, it's very similar to the clown's bottles it only takes about a second to place um, similar to hag traps, except he doesn't slow down when he's using them. He can put them wherever he wants. Um, and then uh, he has about eight, I believe. And you can kind of place them wherever. You can place them mid-chase, stuff like that. And it also um, prohibits fast vaulting. Uh, so a survivor cannot trigger a trap and then fast vault. His second ability, which you have to do a, um, an add-on for, he can place dream pallets. What that does is you can go around placing fake pallets where normal pallets could spawn or other pallets have been broken and pretty much if a survivor goes through them and decides to throw it down it'll explode in blood and do absolutely nothing which pretty much you get a free hit after that so they're pretty cool um so we're going to be doing the um the dream snares first and the pallets second i'll make sure to put timestamps that we if you're curious about either one you can see um so his next ability which is pretty cool he um, can teleport to generators. This is called dream, pro uh, dream Projection. So you get to select a generator and you can channel a, a cast. And at the end of this cast, you appear at that generator. As you are targeting the generator, it spews blood. And then slowly a image of Freddy will pop up and um, you can just appear at the gen. It's pretty easy. You can also cancel this. Um, and then for every survivor that is asleep, the uh, dream projection cooldown is reduced by an additional 15 seconds so if all four you get a 60 percent reduced cooldown which is very nice um other than that uh survivors get alarm clocks they can they can use to wake themselves up and if they wake themselves up using these alarm clocks they um can't fall asleep for another 30 seconds um survivors can still wake each other up um by doing you know the snap snap clap clap um, but every time they do it, it takes twice as long every single time. And then they can also wake themselves up using failed skill checks. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to jump into my perks. What I think works best on Freddy. And then we're going to jump into a match. And we're going to see how it goes. So for our perks, we are using Hex Ruin. So good skill checks regards the general great skill checks do nothing. It helps slow the game down. We're using uh, Make Your Choice. So when a survivor is rescued, or a uh, survivor rescues another at least 32 meters away from me they become exposed for 60 seconds. We're using Pop Goes the Weasel. 
So after I hook a survivor, the next generator that I kick is instantly regressed by 25%. This lasts for 60 seconds or until I kick a generator afterwards. And then we're using barbecue and chili. So every time I hook a survivor and four seconds after that, if there is one survivor or more 40 meters away from the hook, their auras are revealed to me. Um, and then for each unique survivor I hook, I get a 25% stackable blood point bonus up to 100%. Because that's always nice. Um, offering, we're just using random blood point ones. And for add-ons, we're not going to use anything because I want to show you his default. Uh, we will have to use add-ons to get the dream pallets because that's just how it works. Dream pallets do replace dream snares. If you didn't know, you get one or the other. You don't get both. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to play with the dream snares and how to play with the dream pallets. And I'm going to try and help you get good at Freddy because I want to see some you know, grade A killers out there. I want to see you guys doing good. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into a match and hopefully I can uh, show you guys how it's done. See you in the match. Mount Ormond Resort. Am I getting FPS drop? The fuck? All right, guys. So here's what the dream snares look like. And here's how you set them. Pretty much just like this. And you just kind of let go of it. And you just kind of yeet them all over the place if you want. Kind of similar to Hag, and then they make a very monka s noise. Gotta figure out where they're at. I heard somebody right here. Let's see if we can get a god pallet? Nah. There's people here though. I saw her on the other side. I'm getting huge FPS drop, just so you guys know. Alright, let's go after her now. I'm probably going to get this pallet dropped on my face. Yeah. He's blinding me, which is fine. Somebody triggered a trap. Alright, we're going to chase her like normal. I somehow fucked that up. But she went into it anyways. Let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to pretend I'm teleporting to it. They ran away. And then I pick her up. So I kind of mind gamed with that. I pretended that I was teleporting to it. But I actually did not teleport to it. Alright. So now we got her, her hooked. We're going to go ahead and go up here. We keep faking them out. So we saved this gen just by pretending. That we were going to go through. With that teleport. Okay, so now we got her this way. By the way, the arrows above the gens indicate where I'm going to teleport. She was paying attention. I think I get a free hit here, though. Yeah. That was very odd. And we're going to keep going after her. Now, these dream snares are definitely not as good as dream pallets, in my opinion. Damn, I was hoping to counter her a balanced landing, but she didn't get very far with it, so. Mount Ormond is back to lag town, just saying. Um, it's very bright. Here's what the alarm clocks look like, by the way, if you were curious. Okay, where are they at? We want to go to this gen. We can see them on it right there. We're going to teleport to it. I could kick it. She went this way. Scratch marks are very hard to see. She's right here. I hear her. And we're going to keep going after her. But that's how his teleport works. It's very good with Pop Goes the Weasel. She might have balance landing as well. She may have... Damn, I was hoping she fucked up by kind of going the wrong way. But I hear somebody behind me and I see her right there. She gets to this pallet though. I so messed that up. But she also very messed it up. I know there's people with 
flashlight, so I was listening to see if anybody was coming. But the only bad thing about um, these Dream Snares is it's very similar to just M1-ing regularly. I'm gonna get a free M1 here and then I'm probably gonna leave for Pop Goes. Because I need to go kick the pallet. And I need to go to that gen right there. So hopefully I'm not too late. But I would rather kick this gen. Or kick this pallet, sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this gen. And we pop goes it. And she went this way. Somebody's right here, I hear them moving. The Claudette. Follow them like normal. Darn. I should be able to down her normally. Yeah. I figured she'd fall for the mind game. This map feels very laggy. But a lot of what I'm doing is not because of his power at all. It's because I am uh, just playing regular, you know, mind games. Um, they're right there. He's searching a chest, so honestly, I'm not going to use my teleport. They're running this way, I hear them. Let's go ahead and chase her like normal. Oh, I don't know why I respected that, but I still get a free hit. And she was injured. I didn't even know that. Oh no, she had make your choice. Easy. Easy clap, dude. Why, wait, why did she not throw down the pallet if she had make your choice? The fuck? That guy had deliverance. I'm gonna hit her and then I'm gonna go for the injured guy. Which is going this way, I believe. He already bounced. I think he's going for the save. Hmm. Oh, well, there's the Claudette. He probably has decisive strike, so we're gonna leave her there. This girl major fucked up. I'm gonna wait for her deliverance to fall off, because then I know that's a DS timer. And this guy probably has DS too, that's why he's like flashlight taunting me. So. I mean, okay, they're still down. But we're going into Slug Town, so. She went this way because she's going to try and pick her up. He just picked Claudette up. Oh, hello. The Claudette has a key, so we're actually going to go after her now. I'm gonna push her this way because there's nothing here. I'm gonna use the thing so she can't fast vault. And we should catch her right here. And then we're gonna pick this guy up because now we know he doesn't have DS. And then we are going to yeet him onto this hook. That's the good thing about Deliverance is it gives a timer. They're all right there, so honestly, I really should just go after them, but, you know, we're fine. Thanks for the free hit. Yeet. Go after you. Come here, big boy. Where's that dead hard? Didn't work very hard, did it? Dead soft. Alright. So then we're gonna hook this guy, and now we're gonna teleport to them. They're right there, so we're gonna go here. To get closer. And they went this way. It's very disorientating sometimes.
Oh, she's not in a dream. That's why she's not getting affected by them. I was wondering. They do not get affected while in the dream, so it's very hard sometimes to mind game with these snares. Especially when you initially find somebody. Fair enough. I should not have tunneled. Kappa. Come on then. Let's go. She's running to a four lane, which is pretty weak. She's smart to leave it, at least. But I'm pretty sure you don't have dead heart, so... Yeet on him. Alright, boys. Let's go ahead and yeet him onto this hook. And then teleport to a gen. I'm gonna go ahead and kick the gen because pop, because I love popping. And then. I don't even know where he is. I'm just setting a bunch of traps. He went this way. Hello. But yeah, the traps are very hard to get use out of. You have to be very, very smart with them. Okay, well, I guess I set traps and hope that maybe they step in them. And now we just have to get lucky with the hatch. Oh. I mean, okay. <laughs> this guy is not in the dream world yet, which is unfortunate. Because then he can't step in my thing. Right? Oh, there's no gents to teleport to either, so I can't, like, teleport door to door. So I'd probably lose this because the doors are so spread. But maybe he'll get in the dream. Oh, scratch marks. I know he's here somewhere. I've seen his scratch marks. Shit. He needs to fall asleep. Oh. He had a key. Oh, yeah. He picked up the key and reopened the hatch. Oh, well, that's fine. And I got a pip update error as well, so we can't say GG. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you would play with his traps. You kind of just block off, kind of like you would clown. And then you just play normal mind game Freddy. And then you also can mind game with your um, teleporting to gens. Um, I feel like his dream snares are very, very weak, but that's kind of a general basis on how to play him. Um, Mount Ormond felt really laggy, but we pulled through. Um, but now we're going to jump into using the dream snares, or not dream snares, fuck, <laughs> dream pallets. And uh, those are a lot more fun. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to use those. Let's just jump into the match. I'll see you guys there. The Thompson house, this one might be okay. Last map, I got like, um, what did I get? I got freaking Fractured Cow Shed, and oh god, I've gotten literally every fucking pallet spawn. Are you kidding me? Look at that, how many pallets are in this one area? Well, that's what I'm saying, like Fractured Cow Shed, they have so many set pallet spawns. That I could not set any pallets, pretty much. So I had to go through like 200 million billion pallets before I could actually play stream pallets. So by the time that happened, I pretty much lost. Going. Uh, I can't see who I'm chasing. Oh, here we are. Excellent. Somebody was here. There goes Ruin. Put you in the dream. Now we're going back to this loop. Let's we'll see what he does with it. It's going in a straight line. 
<laughs> oh, God, I just sitting there. I was like, what the heck? I mind game the shit out of her by faking my, uh, faking my vault. Or my vault, whatever, you know, my, whatever you want to call it. I faked my fake. doing that. Oh, because he had a full heal ready? Okay. Hey, daddy. Okay, so if we went this way. And we've got these pallets. Does he have balanced landing? We probably cocked him with that. All right, here we go. We've got two people hooked, which is a very, very, very pleasant start. Well, not one, but still. Our ruin is gone, which is depressing, but that's okay. We got somebody on this gen, so we're gonna go ahead and pop it. They already threw the pallet down because they were scared, I guess. I don't know. Put the dream pallet here. By the way, you place dream pallets just by using mouse too. That's all you gotta do is face the uh, the area where the dream pallets can be set and just... Click M2. Where are you? Oh, here you are. I was like, what the fuck? I think they need to change scratch marks in this, but... That's fine. You don't make that, just so you know. Do we go this way? Yeah, we do not do these in my face. Can I get the pallet? I can. Very cool. Can I place this? Thanks. Oh, she turned around. There's a lot of people here, actually. Uh, she's gonna loot me at the fake pallet. Yeah, it's not gonna work, darling. Now I need to go put her here and pop that before it can get finished. Set you here. That gen's being worked on, but we're still gonna pop this and then teleport there. Because there's so many people there. and kick it. They went this way. We're going to go for Claudette. We are going to Shack, which should be fun. Let's see what she does. We're going to get a free hit here. And then we're going to vault here. And now she's down. I don't know what that was. Perfection. This is a much better map to get the dream pallets on because for Fractured Cow Shed, I couldn't do anything because there were just no places to put my dream pallets. So I guess, okay, this guy DC'd. Perfect. Um, I don't even know where to go at this point. Uh, this one, I guess. Oh, hello. Good guess. Oh, they're all here. Get off the gen. We are not doing gens in my face. Okie dokie then. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun way to play. So when your fake pallets work, it is a very, very good build. pallet here isn't there let's go ahead and yeet you on the hook I don't exactly know where you went oh hello fair enough I'll let him do it more chase points I guess 
This one is going to be a depressing pallet. Oh, he's not going to use it. Darn. I am not staying at this pallet, though. Uh, I think this one's still here, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't make this vault. Ah, barely. Hello. Hey, he got a gen. Excellent. Darn. I should have went for the the mind game. Okay, well. You fucked that up. You should have revolted, it would have been a good idea. That was a good chase. Hats off to this ace for being a decent guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and yeet this guy on the hook. I'll just go ahead and leave. So they can unhook or whatever. I think that guy's actually killing himself. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this guy was like up here somewhere. Maybe in a locker. Oh, I see him. He's right there. How unfortunate. Poor Jeff. Nice pallet. Nice one. It's a real pallet, throw it. There's God pallet. Perfection. I'm alright, more points for me. <laughs> uh, it's so fun when they work, dude. But yeah, this is why I like Dream Palettes more than Dream Snares. They're a lot more beneficial in my opinion. But the problem with the Dream Palettes is that you have to go through a lot of pallets on certain maps. Like, it can be very, very difficult to get your Dream Palettes set up. But endgame, it turns into, like, very, very, very good. And yeah, that's kind of just how you play Freddy. Very easy, kind of an M1-y killer. Mind game your teleports to force them off gens. That way you can buy yourself some time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Sorry for the DC. I love you. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I really do hope that this at least brought some insight on how to play him a little better. Um, that's why I make these guides is because I want to see a lot more people get a lot better with these killers. So, you know, mix some mind games in with his power, and you've got a pretty solid killer. Um, I'd, I'd put him pretty decent up there, especially with Pop Goes. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you gained some kind of knowledge out of this. Um, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed my content or my video, or this helped you out, um, feel free to subscribe. You can turn on notifications so you can see when I post more videos. Um, reminder, as I said at the beginning of the, of the video, there is a giveaway. Feel free to enter it. You know, that's up to you. It's more of a, uh, a thank you for you guys, you know, showing me this much support for such a, you know, small content creator. Um, I really do enjoy the community so far that I have, you know, that I've been blessed with. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whatever time it is, you know, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the fog. Peace. Appreciate you guys watching.